October, the spooky month of Halloween, filled with zombies, ghosts, skeletons, bats, and of course, marine princesses. Yeah, I think Kanai missed the memo on that one. So I hope you guys are thirsty, because this month we just got given a buttload of brand new water support, including Umi, Shark, Marine Cess, and of course the brand new structure deck for Salamangrate, which doesn't really fit the theme at all, but hey, I'm not complaining, that's three Cyanet mining for the deck list that actually matters. So here's today's deck list. Now just a reminder before I go to the deck list, if you're enjoying today's video and see more content just like this in the future, especially if you want to see some new pack content, it's going to be making a bunch of shark content, umi content, new Sire Man great content, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, or if you happen to be a returning viewer, as apparently about 50% of the people watching this or even subscribed to the channel, then nearly all of you have seen my stuff before. So if you do keep coming back to the channel and do want to see more content from me in the future, remember to hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Alright, let's get into the deck list. So this decklist just got itself a major upgrade, and I mean major. This decklist went from being sort of a mere bottom level rogue tier decklist that didn't really do a whole lot, to being a top floor contender at the TCG Nationals. Marine says with the brand new support the Master Draw got given, is absolutely a banger of a decklist now. So what exactly has changed? So if people that have played marine sets before in the past in Master Duel will know the decklist was basically just a towers deck in that the entire goal is to just summon out your marine sets bubble reef, equip with a bunch of link monsters so it has an absurd amount of attack, make sure to use your marine sets crystal hardest material and have your field spell on board so this card was just unaffected by all card effects and had a shit ton of attack. Which it's kind of cool and all, but it's just sort of a weak towers deck that has literally zero interaction unless you just hard draw into your trap card. Which is where this decklist got its major upgrade from, because most of the time where you used to go into your Princess Crystal Heart, you can actually just cut this card from the decklist now, and I know a lot of the top tier versions of Marine Cess will probably not even run this card at all. I am going to be running it as I think it's kind of a fun card and there's still some combo lines you can do with it, but you don't actually even need this anymore, because your trap card just became searchable, and the whole point of this card was to make your cards unaffected, well the trap card just does that anyway. So the cool thing is, this trap card which is basically just infinite impermanence, once you have a marine test monster on the field, only this card actually makes all of your monsters also unimmune, or immune to all of your opponent's card effects, so it's a really powerful version of infinite impermanence. And it's now searchable via the brand new link monster, when I see it, the Coral Triangle. This card allows you to send one water monster in your hand to the graveyard to add one marine says trap card from your deck to your hand. So basically part of all of your combos are now going to be using this card to search for that trap card, so your field's going to be completely immune to all of your opponent's card effects, and you can negate any effects they have. So already we just have an insane upgrade over the previous variant, because we have this, the towers-like effect of being protected from everything, but we actually have interruption as well. On top of that, there's also a bunch of other new cards, one of which being the Link 4 Aqua Agronauts. This card gives you even more interruption in the deck, as this card, whilst it, this card is in the extra monster zone, your opponent monsters cannot attack any other monsters except this one. You can use each of the following effects of Marine Sakurana once per turn. You can target one water monster you control and one card your opponent controls, return them to hand. Keep in mind that's not a quick effect, so not too relevant. But the second effect, during your opponent's turn when a spell or trap card or effect is activated, Quick effect, you can spell summon one of your Marine Cess monster cards equipped to this card, and if you do, negate the activated effect. So essentially, instead of going into this card as your big boss monster, you can now go into your Aqua Argonaut, and equip with a bunch of your Blink monsters with your field spell, so you just have a giant towers monster with your trap card that can also negate spell and trap card effects. Then we have two other new additions in the main deck. We have, of course, your Marine Cess Spring Girl, which is a card that's now added to the list of one card combos. Since you can use this card as a one card combo, you can use your Seahorse as a one card combo, and you can actually use Spring Girl as a one card combo as well, although it's kind of harder to use this one as a one card since it kind of has to hit a water monster when it's excavating. But generally, this card does add to the consistency of the deck, since we now have not only another level 4, so we can go into rank 4s easier, but we also have another one card starter for the list as well. And on top of that, the final card we've been added is Marine Cess Dive. Activate one of the following effects for the rest of this turn after this card resolves, you cannot spell some monsters except water monsters. 
Target one non-link marine test monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Sispicar became a searchable monster reborn, which is searchable off of your your marine says sea angel. Alright, it's second effect, if a marine says battle ocean is on your field zone, special summon one marine test monster from your deck. So if you happen to open up your field spell, you now have a marine says dive, which can just bring out any of your marine says cards straight from the deck. Absolutely a bonkers card, just an even more insane version of monster reborn. As for the rest of the deck list, you'll probably already notice, it's just a shit ton of tech cards. I'm actually running, I think, 21 tech cards in here if I remember counting correctly. There is so many hand traps and disruption you can run in this deck list, because it's just filled with a bunch of one card combos or two card combos now. So if you draw a dead hand, well it's not really possible anymore, because you just open up any Cyanet Mining, open up your Blue Tang, open up your your Spring Girl, your Seahorse, all these cards you can just use as one card combos and on a decent board, and then just have four other cards in hand for disruption purposes, including things like Goza Match, which makes it so that your opponent basically can only use one attribute of monster the entire time, and that doesn't affect you because you're playing water anyway, so this entire deck list just got so much more room to put tech cards in it, and I think it's the main reason this deck list is so good, as it's going second matchup isn't that bad when you have like a billion other hand traps in the deck list to disrupt your opponent. But if you don't have any of the hand traps featured in this deck list, keep in mind they're all just not really necessary. So if you have like, I don't know, your Lightning Storms, your Igekis, any of these cards can be replaced. Just make sure to have the Marine Cess core of the deck list like I've shown you on screen now. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the deck list portion of the video. As per usual, every single card in this deck list will be typed out in the description down below. So if you guys don't recognise any of the cards in here, just check the description. They'll be written out down there. The rest of this video is going to be a bunch of combos showcasing how to play this deck list, and without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, onto the first combo. So the first combo for this deck is a simple one card combo that can be done with either Blue Tang, Seahorse, or it can also be done with Spring Girl, although Spring Girl is a bit of a gamble since you have to hit a Marine Cess off the top, so preferably not that one, but with Blue Tang and Seahorse it's guaranteed, and because we have Cyanet Mining in the deck list, you, bet you can get this basically every single duel. Alright, so first thing you do is summon out your Blue Tang. This will then send Seahorse, which you'll notice in all the combos is basically what you do every single time. Alright, now you go into your Link 1, which will be your Blue Slug. Alright, summoning out Blue Slug. Then using both the effects, Blue Slug's effect, adding back the Seahorse to hand, and using the Blue Tang's effect, to then look at the top three cards of your deck list, although in this case, because I'm trying to show off a one card combo, we're going to ignore the card that grabs from this if it does hit anything. Which thankfully it won't. Yep, okay, so because it didn't hit anything, it doesn't matter anyway, because this, this combo is a one card combo, you didn't need it anyway. Alright, now you can summon back the seahorse to the link arrow this card points to. Alright, now we can go straight into your sea angel. And sea angel will give you a search. Which in this case will be for the field spell. Giving yourself the Marine Cess Battle Ocean. Alright, activating that for later on. Then we're going to Link Summon into our Coral and Anem Anemone. And then I sound like that Nemo movie. Summoning out the, the Coral thing. Alright, not going to use the field spell's effect yet. Using this card's effect to bring back a card from the graveyard. Putting it below it. And now we can Link Summon into our Link 3, which will be your Marine Cess Coral... I actually don't know the name of this card yet, hang on. I actually know the names of the cards I'm trying to make a combo videos out of. Triangle. Alright. Then Chain Link 1 using Battle Ocean, Chain Link 2 using the Anemone. Make sure to bring back a card that is not a Link Monster, because you need the Link Monsters to put underneath the card in a second using the Field Spell. So add back the Seahorse. Doesn't matter which one of the cards you add back, it isn't a Link Monster though, because you discard discarded anyway. Adding back the Seahorse. Equipping all the things below the card, because it gives it a bunch of extra attack. Alright. Then we're going to activate the effect of our Triangle, discarding the Seahorse, or the card you add back to hand, to give ourselves the Omni Negate Trap card. 
Not Omnigate, Trap Card, sorry. The Trap Card that can negate any monster effect and make your monster immune to basically all card effects. It's absolutely insane, and it can be used from hand. So essentially, you've ended on a 3,500 attack board with just one singular card that's going to be unaffected by all card effects and have an impermanence in hand to negate basically any monster your opponent tries to activate. And of course, we still have four extra cards in hand, so keep that in mind. This is just the one card combo. With all these extenders, you can make a much bigger board and obviously have a bunch of hand traps as well. Alright, onto the second combo. So this combo is going to be done the same as the first one, a simple one card combo, only this time we've got to be ending on a slightly different end board, because this hand you want to use if your opponent has basically a shit ton of spell and trap cards that you want to negate, or you already opened the hand trap so you don't need to search for it, then you'll go for this start instead. So in this case, I'm going to start with a Seahorse, because I want to show you can do the combo without having to use Blue Tang. But do keep in mind, Blue Tang's obviously the better normal summon, because it gives you the Excavate, add a card to hand potentially. But in this case, like I said, I just want to show off this combo without using Blue Tang, to show you guys you can do it without it. Alright. So going into our Slug. The combo's going to look very similar to the previous combo up until a point, so we'll just speed through the start of this. So your Slug, going to be adding back your Seahorse. See so in special summon again to the Link Arrow. Then going into the Link One once again, same as before. And of course, searching for the spilled spell, spell once again. So nothing different here, same as before. See Angel. Angel going to be activating to search for field spell. Alright. Then you activate your field spell for later. Then we go into our Splash Mage this time. So instead of going for your an enemy, we're going for Splash Mage because we're going to need the Link 2 for later on. Going to Splash Mage, which can then bring back our Seahorse. So now we can once again go into the anemone, but this time because we've used Splash Mage, we have a Link 2 in the graveyard with under 1,500 attack, so we can bring it back with the anemone. So we have enough materials on board to then go into our Link 4. Our Splash Mage. And there it is, straight into our brand new Marine Cess Aqua Argonaut, which is a really cool card. Because essentially, whenever your opponent activates any kind of spell and trap cards, you can take the equipped spells equipped to it, bring one of them back to negate the effect. So we're going to use the Battle Lotion first. And chain the an enemy. Same as before, we don't want to use any of the link monsters because you need them later on. So adding the seahorse back to hand. Alright, then grabbing all the equipped cards, sticking them below, same as before, making our card really damn big. And also giving us plenty of materials to use for negating spell and trap cards. So basically, if your opponent ever activates a spell and trap card, you can activate this card's effect to resummon out your Coral and Enemy for full light plays on your turn, while simultaneously negating that effect. And obviously, you still have a shit ton of cards in hand to use for, basically, if you have a shit ton of hand traps or any other extenders to make better end boards than this one. Essentially, one card, spell and trap card negate. If you already have the hand trap, then you want to go for this, or if your opponent has a bunch of spell and trap cards, you want to go for this as well. Alright, onto our fourth and final combo. This one's going to be using Blue Tang, Pascalus, and Marine Cess Dive. So first of all, you're going to summon out your Pascalus. Once again, special summoning the Blue Tang from hand. So Blue Tang going to be sending Seahorse to the graveyard as per usual. And just like in the previous combos, we're now going to be going into our Xyz monster, Behemoth Shark. Which then, of course, summon out Toad as per usual. Alright, detaching the blue Tang, summoning out the Toad. Now we can use Marine Test Dive to bring back the card we just sent to the graveyard. Bringing back our level 4. Which means we can now use it as Link Material to go into our blue Slug. Blue Slug, going to be adding back, of course we're still going to use Blue Tang, doesn't, I mean, doesn't have to worry about the effect of Blue Tang, as per usual, if it hits nothing, it hits nothing, doesn't matter, doesn't affect the combo in any way, but if, you're still going to use the effect anyway, because why wouldn't you, didn't hit anything, doesn't matter, adding back the Link to level 1, or say level 3, so we can special summon it to the Link Arrow, go into our level, our level 1, I'll see Angel, so we can once again search off 
your Mary Says Battle Ocean. Alright, now just like in one of the other combos you would have seen before, we can now go into Splash Mage. Splash Mage is going to bring back a dude. Doesn't matter which. So then we can go into your an enemy. Which can then bring back the Splash Mage. Making sure we don't forget to activate the field spell, because we do need that on the field at some point. Alright, now before going into your Link 4 like before, this time we're now going to go into your Crystal Heart. You don't have to do this because you can use the Behemoth Shark later on to bring back Toads, but in this case I don't care, so I'm going to go into my Crystal Heart. Especially considering we don't search for the Trap card in this line of plays, meaning we kind of want our card to be unaffected, so we're going to be doing that. Making sure not to use the field spell yet, because we don't need it yet. But we are going to use the enemy to add back the blue tank for follow-up plays on future turns. So now we can go into our Link 4, which will be your Spell and Trap card negate. And there is our end board. This time ending on, once again, a 4,000 or 5,000 sling attack monster. You have no idea how much attack this thing has. It's going to be pretty extreme, actually. It's going to have a lot of material equipped to it. Yeah, so going into our 4,300 attack monster, which during our opponent's turn if you activate the Spawn Trap card, we can summon back out our Coral and Enemy, negating the effect, and also if he activates any kind of monster effect, or even another Spawn Trap card, we have Totally Awesome to negate that as well. So we have double negate, plus whatever hand traps we have in hand, a 4,300 attack monster, and we have Blue Tank for follow-up on future turns. And that's going to do it for the combos for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Remember, if you did, to leave a like on today's video. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Laters. Hey, big brother, can I watch SpongeBob? Shut up, Mokuba. I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.